In this video, I want to talk to you about the problem of leaks around the back of shower trays and baths. Now, this is something I've come across many, many times in my career as a plumber, and it's also said to be the biggest single callback to new housing. And it's not the plumbing, it's simply the fact that the water is coming down the back, seeping into the structure. And the reason that this is happening is because all too often, even in this day and age, all we're relying on for a waterproof seal is this bit of silicon along the front of the tiles. Now, we all know that buildings move, people are in the shower tray, sometimes very heavy people, and things are moving around, you get shrinkage on the timbers, and all too often, that silicon seal will part company. So at some time or another, that water is going to start seeping under those tiles. Now the problem is, it's not seen until it's done a great deal of damage. And often that means that plasterboard's got to be stripped out, even floors have got to be stripped out to rectify it. So you'd think there would be a solution in this day and age, and there is, and it's called No More Leaks Sealant Tape. And this isn't just a solution that's going to last a couple of years. This has got a 15 year guarantee and I fully expect this waterproof tape to last a lot longer than that. Now the idea of this sealant tape is that instead of forming a seal along the front, the tape is applied behind the tiles onto the substructure and in this case it's a waterproof board. It's always better to use something like that than ordinary plasterboard or even water resistant plasterboard. But if you apply it to the substructure there and down onto the shower tray or the bath itself you form this absolutely foolproof permanent seal so that if any water does creep past that silicon seal it can't get any further. Now I've said that this is the modern solution to the problem there was a solution which was brought out a few years ago which is trays with upstands but the reality was that the problem with those upstands is that they had to be chased into the wall and once they were chased into the wall you'd actually form the void behind the wall where water could seep. So they weren't the perfect solution. Also, the upstands on trays now tend to be on all four sides, which a lot of people don't like. And the other problem is that if you chase a tray into the wall, it's got to be left there. Whereas with this solution, you can bring the wall down to the floor. You don't need to put the tray in until the border has been rounded, done all his bit, and everything else is ready and prepared. And this comes in just before the tiler. So it's a much better solution. It means that you can keep the vulnerable components in the bathroom off the site until they're needed. And all in all, it proves a very versatile and easy solution. Now, No More Leaks comes in two different variations. We've got a four meter kit here, which has got two preformed corners, and that's good for a bath or a larger shower tray. And we've also got a two meter kit, which comes with just one preformed corner, but is fine for your average shower tray. So it's a solution that is made to solve a problem that has plagued the building industry for far too many years. And now I'm going to show you how to apply it. Okay, so now that that's uh, out the way and it is clean and dry, we can apply the tape. Now you can actually apply this tape to plasterboard or any kind of board that's used or even a plastered wall behind a shower or bath. But I much prefer to use this insulated waterproof board. I'm not a great lover even of water resistant plasterboard because I've seen so many problems with it in the past. So on all my installations, I use this board which is completely waterproof. And when it's sealed like this with the tape, you've got an absolutely waterproof structure. But the other thing I like about it is that it's insulated. So it cuts down on that mold and mildew in the bathroom. So that is the perfect surface for sticking this tape onto. And I just need the two meter kit. So in the kit, we've got a roller, which you'll see is very important. We've also got the tape and preformed corner. And of course, very important indeed is the instructions. So 
So now I need to cut this tape to length and it needs a 20 millimeter overlap over the corner. And also on the other end, I want to run it over 20 millimeters there. And if you put in the shower screen in, this always has to go behind, the tiles have to go behind the shower screen as well. That's something I see that people tile up to the screen rather than behind it. And that does cause problems. Now, as I said with the corner, you can actually put this long piece of tape on the edge before you even put the shower tray or the bath into position and then just simply pull it on. And if it's a bit much for you doing a long length, you can of course cut this into sections so long as you overlap it by 20 millimeters at least. So I'll just show you how this tile goes over here in a dry fit and you can see that it covers the tape at the bottom, but of course we still go with the silicon seal along the front of the tile just to give it that first line of defense if you like but if ever anything goes wrong with that silicon seal of course the tape is doing the job behind it so really it's a double seal so that's it that's a very simple solution to curing this age-old problem of leaks behind baths and showers hopefully in the future people will be using this kit and that problem won't occur